Morning. Student protesters say a temporary suspension is not enough after the alleged sexual assaults and drugging here at the Sigma Nu Fraternity House. And those are the allegations surrounding the fraternity this morning. Take a look. Those allegations drew a group of protesters out here yesterday surrounding the frat house on West 28th Street, posting signs and personal notes all over the house calling for more action from USC. The university says it's launched an investigation and sent out a community-wide email about the Sigma Nu suspension after sexual assault and drugging allegations. That email stems from a reported incident to the LAPD earlier this month involving a 19-year-old student alleging she was assaulted at a Sigma Nu party. And following that email, the school's Department of Public Safety received several more reports in the last month related to drugging at Sigma Nu. Students, protesters here who were out at the, the frat house yesterday, they were also critical of how USC handles these alleged crimes. By the fact the university is kind of putting this narrative where it's like, oh, we as women have to protect ourselves and like it's on us to kind of take measures and take these protective measures. This is really an opportunity for people to show their true colors or really make change. Um, I'm out here to do just that. I know there are many other people who wish they could be tonight and aren't for different reasons, but we'll keep showing up until we see something. Under the school's interim suspension, Sigma Nu is not allowed to host any social events or organize any activities. Both USC and the LAPD say they will continue to investigate the allegations. Reporting live here at USC's Greek Row, back to you in the studio.